Patak Roadster Instead of looking like a tiny two-seater with lots of inexpensive plastic cladding, the ultimate city car should look like a retro-inspired electric roadster. At least that's how engineers at Patak Motors see it. This automotive company from Slovakia tried to blend the comfort of a car with the agility of a motorcycle. Their creation is called the Patak Roadster, and it has a gorgeous open-top design with an optional folding roof. Unlike many similarly-looking Velo Mobiles, the Roadster offers performance comparable to a city car, and all must-have safety features, including a three-point safety belt system, powerful disc brakes with ABS, independent front and rear axle suspension, a tubular frame, and carbon Kevlar reinforced body. The installed 15 kilowatt motor is spinning the rear wheels and enables speeds up to 80 miles per hour. You may opt for either a 10 or 20 kilowatt hour battery, offering either 60 or 155 miles of range respectively. The opponents of zero emission powertrains may order the Roadster with a single cylinder four-stroke engine. One Wheel GTS Series Rally Edition When the one wheel was first announced, many felt that a skateboard with a chunky wheel in the middle of the board was too much of a niche product that would never catch on. To our surprise, not only did the brand manage to stay afloat, but it also kept improving its products and designing new models. The most recent One Wheel GTS Series is targeted at adventure seekers who want to conquer a variety of surfaces with utmost speed and comfort. The newcomer features a 113-volt powertrain with an enlarged 6-inch central hub motor that now includes more powerful neodymium magnets. The motor's output guarantees 30-degree hill climbing capabilities and a 25-mile-per-hour top speed, while the battery gives the riding autonomy between 16 and 25 miles and needs 150 minutes to be topped up via the standard charger. The optional hypercharger can get you back on the road in 80 minutes. Ampere Aero The Belgium-based EV company called the Ampere suggests switching from traditional off-road scooters and start riding their Aero kick bike to receive the peak riding pleasure. Looking at it, it's a hybrid between a kick scooter and a mountain bike. The Ampere Aero features a frame machined from aerospace-grade aluminum, a 3 kilowatt hour rear hub motor with torque rated at 127 pound-feet, a 60-volt, 30-amp-hour lithium-ion battery, 29-inch wheels, hydraulic disc brakes with 203mm rotors, and a full suspension system. On one battery charge, this 92-pound machine covers up to 50 miles in the urban riding cycle or up to 30 miles in the off-road mode. Please note that the urban setting limits the top speed to just 16 miles per hour, while the off-road speed is rated at 37 miles per hour. Vuk Bike Today electric bicycles come in all shapes and sizes. However, we do have to admit that a lowrider style trike is a form factor that we haven't seen before. Vuk Bike is a drift trike that received a quite potent powertrain. It's represented by a duo of 1 kilowatt electric hub motors and a 30 amp hour battery pack. The peak output by the powertrain is estimated at 6 kilowatts, which is enough to propel you to the 40 mile per hour speed in the boost mode. Speaking of power modes, there are four of them and they let you safely adjust the power from 10 to 40 miles per hour speeds. The manufacturer promises up to 110 miles of riding and drifting fun from the Vuk bike. Besides looking rad, this lowrider tricycle offers a host of comfort and technological features, namely turn signals, cameras, a control screen, a smart app, a keyless access system, a bucket seat covered with echo leather, and a fiberglass trunk for your belongings.
Bull E-Scooter The Bull E is a limited production electric scooter that was created as a result of an urban mobility design study. Its main objective was to create a modern alternative to already existing urban mobility vehicles that will have a completely new design language and riding position. According to the manufacturer, this scooter received a forward-leaning stance that adds more style and drama to your riding experience while reducing air drag. Lower air drag is said to extend overall riding range. Speaking of range, the Bull E can cover up to 32 miles between charging sessions. This 2,000-watt scooter was specially created for low-speed, short-distance urban commuting. So we shouldn't be surprised to find out that the top speed was also limited to just 28 miles per hour. Lampago A vintage-style electric tricycle with luxury seating for two, this is how Turkey's Lampago company envisions the future of urban commuting. Despite its size, this urban mobility vehicle offers performance specifications comparable to an average European e-bike. There's a 1,000-watt electric motor that can push you up to 15.5 mile per hour speeds, while a 60-volt, 30-amp-hour battery will reportedly last between 18 and 31 miles. This vehicle rolls on 3 by 10 inch tires, has a carrying capacity of 440 pounds, and uses a combination of front disc and rear drum brakes to come to a halt efficiently. The base package also includes LED headlights, a spare tire, a digital control display, a cooler for your drinks, a vintage umbrella, and a striking glossy paint job. Arctic Ride Skik Finland is known for having some of the harshest weather conditions, so it's not all that surprising that this country is home to inventions like the Skik. Described as a hybrid between an electric scooter and a snowmobile, the Skik is advertised as an ultimate solution for all-weather commuting. It features a three-wheel construction made with a sturdy black powder painted steel frame. In front, you get a knobby ATV tire with a 1,000-watt motor hidden inside its hub. While in the back, you get a choice between inflatable tires with aluminum rims for summer riding and skis for gliding on snow. The motor draws its energy from a 48-volt, 20-amp-hour battery pack suitable for operating in cold weather conditions. This motor unit can propel you up to 15.5 miles per hour speeds and last for 25 to 35 miles on a charge. This adventure or scooter weighs about 143 pounds and could be used as a traditional kick scooter when the battery charge runs out or be folded down for easier transportation. Meet the Moonbike, an innovative means of transportation that merges the power of a snowmobile with an agility of an electric motorcycle. The moon bike is three times lighter than an average snowmobile, so it'll be easier to store, transport, and maneuver when you get to ride it. The moon bike's powertrain is almost silent, as it's represented by a 3-kilowatt electric motor that's capable of putting out 125 pound-feet of immediate torque. This powertrain will let you ride at speeds close to 26 miles per hour and climb hills with 40% inclines. The adventure vehicle could be supplied with either a single or a dual battery system, offering one and a half hours or three hours of riding respectively. Aerial Motor Company E-Nomad This year, Aerial Motor Company, a British manufacturer of performance vehicles, has finally issued a long-awaited update to their Nomad Dune Buggy. 
However, it seems that the updates will keep on coming, as the brand announced its intentions to start venturing into the field of electric vehicles too. The company's most recent press release shows a prototype of an electric off-roader called the E-Nomad. Underneath the body with biocomposite body panels, this four-wheeler hides a 450-volt powertrain consisting of a 210-kilowatt electric motor and a 41-kilowatt-hour battery pack. Considering that the E-Nomad weighs just 1,975 pounds, its 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration time of 3.4 seconds shouldn't come as a surprise to all EV fans out there. On one battery charge, this rugged EV should cover up to 150 miles, while the support of DC fast charging lets you charge the battery from 20 to 80% in a mere 25 minutes. Neither a scooter nor a motorcycle, the Extreme Bull by Alien Rides is an electric adventure vehicle that belongs to a class of its own. The stout two-wheeler weighs 165 pounds, however, its character is quite aggressive, since it's putting to use a dual-motor powertrain. With 3.5 kilowatts of power generated by each motor, the Extreme Bull is no stranger to riding at speeds over 50 miles per hour. This overpowered motor setup has to be matched with a robust hydraulic brake setup, full suspension system for the rider's comfort, and a 134-volt Samsung battery with 2.9 kilowatt hours of capacity for covering long distances. If you want to spare your battery and travel for longer distances between charges, there are three motor performance modes that would let you effortlessly switch between laid-back riding style and rubber-burning acceleration. The manufacturer estimates that riders up to 440 pounds would be able to ride the Extreme Bull for distances between 60 and 120 miles. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.